The last time Microsoft sent an update to the Surface Duo line of devices that was anything other than a simple security patch was all the way back in June of 2023 when they did have a very small bug fix to provide. Even still, without this direct support from Microsoft, Surface Duo continues to get better, thanks in large part to Google, not Microsoft. Now, don't get me wrong, Microsoft has done some things which have sort of accidentally aided Surface Duo as well, and accidentally benefiting Surface Duo is sort of the point of this video. We do have things like Copilot being built into the launcher now, but as you can see, it doesn't really work like it was a native application. You launch it and it's over here. It just doesn't really make a ton of sense. It doesn't work in a way that is as coherent as you would want it to be. It's just a little bit weird. If we look at our keyboard, we have, of course, added some things like this little editor that will allow you to compose and change the tone of different things. But again, it's not quite... <laughs> it's not quite right. You can launch Copilot through SwiftKey, their keyboard as well, but again, it's not quite right. It does not directly support Surface Duo, and that really shows. What's bizarre is that a lot of the stuff that Google has added to Android, that Surface Duo has picked up as a consequence of that, actually seems like it works better than the stuff that Microsoft has been adding. Again, it's stuff that's not meant for Surface Duo. It's crazy to me, by the way, that we're rolling out things for Android if you're Microsoft. You're rolling out Android products that are not meant for Surface Duo and do not actually work correctly on Surface Duo like I just showed you, but that's neither here nor there. Let's start with the new big change to Google Assistant, which is Gemini. So if you want to trigger Gemini on Surface Duo, I wish you could hold the power button, but that's not a thing. You can do a corner swipe, and if I do that correctly, I always have to remember the angle. It's, it's straight up there. You will see that you can launch Gemini just Fine, and it actually does work pretty well with the only caveat being, again, it's going to launch over there on that left screen for whatever reason. No matter what you're doing, that's where it's going to be. I wonder if I actually maximize it and then close it. Yeah, so it's going to launch on the screen that you used last. But the good news is it works just fine. You're going to be able to get complicated answers to questions, as you can see here, and actually ask follow-up questions and things like that. And while the answers are not always accurate, for the most part, if you know how to use this tool and you know that it is just a tool and you shouldn't trust everything it says implicitly, I find Gemini to be very useful. One of my favorite things to do with it is actually ask it to recap episodes of television shows because I have this bad habit of not paying close enough attention. Then we watch the next episode and I don't know what's going on. So I'll ask Gemini to give me a recap and it's shocking how often it absolutely nails it and gets that stuff right really, really quickly. But there's another feature that I kind of want to touch on that just now rolled out and I'm not going to like deep dive into this in this video because I've done it in other videos, but I just want to show you guys how kind of crazy it is that it's working on, of all devices, Surface Duo. So what we're looking at is something called Magic Editor, and this was a Pixel 8 exclusive feature, but it has now rolled out. You can use it on pretty much any device that has Google Photos on it. Now, of course, if you don't have a two terabyte Google One subscription, you only get 10 saves per month. But like me, I have that, so it's not really a concern. What we're gonna try to do with this photo is we're gonna try to remove this leash as well as my hand. We're gonna try to just make it look like these are two super well-behaved dogs that can walk off of a leash. Rose actually is very good about that. Rutherford, not nearly so much. And there you go, that is the end result of that. Now you may be saying to yourself, couldn't you have just used uh, you know, something like Magic Eraser? And the answer is yes, but the results are going to be significantly worse. It is something kind of strange with her foot there. But by and large, that looks pretty good. And if I kind of slide through, we have different options. It kind of made her into some sort of a, a Wookiee or something there. I think that first result's fine. Nobody's really going to notice anything at all. And let's go from there. Let's actually now grab Rose 
and we're going to drag her back and make her a little bit bigger and we can place her there and it's going to fill in the gap that we left behind there as well. I've used Magic Editor for so many things. I was literally touching up some of our wedding photos earlier, or actually last night. There were a few things that needed to kind of be moved around. It's just such a powerful and useful tool. Obviously, what I'm doing here is a little bit silly and doesn't necessarily look great, but if you use it in a tasteful way, it is a phenomenally useful tool, and it is here. It is on Surface Duo. Like I said, you do need that Google One subscription to use it as much as you might want to use it, but it's here, and it's compatible. And there are a ton of applications now that Google has updated that now you know make use of Surface Duo really well. Let's just start playing a track in YouTube Music, and if I span it across both screens, you have this tablet interface that works pretty well. This is basically identical to what you get on something like their Pixel Fold. Again, this was not intentional. They didn't build this with Duo in mind. And as you can see, as you go into the rest of the app, some things do get lost in the middle. But by and large, this application is really usable this way. If we open up Google Keep and do the same thing, we're going to span that. We have a very similar situation where this works brilliantly well straight out of the box. It's not meant for Duo. But it works really well. I won't dive too deeply into this one to prevent myself from having to blur too much, but Gmail is the exact same way. You can have your list of emails on the left-hand side, and if you click on an email, you get the actual email thread on the right-hand side. I know that Outlook has similar features, but it's just cool that Gmail does too. And strangely enough, literally while I was filming this video, I got a pop-up asking if my Surface Duo 2 should be enrolled in the brand new Find My Device network. It is compatible with these newer features. Now don't get me wrong, mine is definitely starting to show its age. While I was going through my repair replace issues with the Pixel Fold, I did think for a while, let me put my SIM back in my Surface Duo 2 and just see what that's like. I did that, and my battery was absolutely plummeting. I don't know what's going on. Maybe I need to factory reset it, or maybe that battery has just degraded over time. But I could almost watch my battery tick down when there was a SIM inserted. With no cellular, it'll stay alive for a few days. But man, when that SIM was in there, it was unbelievable. It was so bad, I had to take the SIM back out because I can't possibly use this phone to be dead here in just like a few hours. It's definitely a bummer that Microsoft has left Surface Duo behind, but I do think that, you know, every few months when something like this pops up and I check it out on my Surface Duo and I'm like, yeah, it works just fine over here. It does kind of make me a little bit happy in a strange way because I know that there are some of you out there who are still daily driving this device and it's cool to see some of these features coming back. And it's just honestly cool to see them running on such a strange, unique, and what I believe to be a special form factor. Guys, let me know how you feel about this in the comments down below. Are you using any of these things? What applications have you seen be updated over the last several months that you think work well on Surface Duo that wasn't meant to work well on Surface Duo. Again, hit those comments down below, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.